Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. As mentioned in our Tuesday video, we are focusing on supporting Black artists this week. In light of recent events in America and around the world, it is important to us that we use the Accessible Art History platform to help educate our followers about all aspects of art and history. We've included a link in the description box below to a list of resources if you would like to support this cause. Today's video is focusing on three amazing black artists, Jacob Lawrence, Faith Ringgold, and Jean-Michel Basquiat. They were each instrumental in the development of 20th century American art. So keep on watching to learn more about these three extraordinary people. Jacob Lawrence is one of the best known African American painters that lived and worked during the 20th century. He was born on September 7th, 1917 in New Jersey. Lawrence dropped out of school when he was 16 years old in order to enter the workforce. However, he kept learning by taking classes at a local art workshop. His teachers, including sculptor Augustus Savage, noticed his potential and talent. So they helped him to secure a scholarship to the American Artist School. In 1941, Lawrence married fellow artist Gwendolyn Knight. He also fought in World War II on one of the first integrated crews in the U.S. Coast Guard. After the war, he continued to paint and develop his style. In 1970, Lawrence and his wife moved to the Pacific Northwest. He was offered a position of art professor at the University of Washington in Seattle. Jacob Lawrence died of lung cancer in June 2000 at the age of 82. The Migration Series, created in 1941, is one of Lawrence's best known works. Although it consists of multiple paintings, he actually saw them as one collective piece. So he worked on all 60 panels at the same time. The overarching theme of these works are the migration of black families from the South that started at the beginning of the 20th century. Accompanying each panel is a one sentence description. These were updated in 1993 because some of the language had fallen out of use. The figures in these works are often two dimensional rather than the common three dimensional. Each one focuses on both the struggle that the migrants underwent, but also the hope that awaited them at the end of their journey. Born on October 8, 1930, Faith Ringgold is a prolific artist whose career spans both decades and mediums. She grew up during the Harlem Renaissance, and her parents encouraged her to explore creative outlets, especially painting and drawing. Her mother was a fashion designer, which led to Ringgold's interest in fabric-based art. In 1950, she enrolled in City College to study the liberal arts. However, Women were not allowed to receive that degree at this point in history, so Ringgold wound up studying art education instead. Over the next decade, she raised her two daughters, worked, and studied for her master's degree. Ringgold also began to develop her style and traveled to Europe to view famous art. In the 1960s, she and her husband began a series of paintings called American People. They were directly inspired by the civil rights movement, and they are considered to be some of her most important works. Later, Ringgold began using her quilting squares as her medium, and she took up a teaching position at the University of California, San Diego. Faith Ringgold has won numerous awards and fellowships in recognition of her artistic achievements. Throughout her career, Faith Ringgold used a variety of mediums. However, some of her most famous works are made of quilt squares. As mentioned before, Ringgold's mother was a fashion designer and had taught her to sew when she was young. In many of her quilted pieces, Ringgold will create both images and text to show the entire story. In this week's episode of Art History Minute, we covered her work, Dancing at the Louvre. This is one of her most famous pieces. Other ones include What Happened to Aunt Jemima, The Lover's Trilogy, and Echoes of Harlem. Faith Ringgold used storytelling techniques to bring depth to her art and create a history of her life and observations. Jean-Michel Basquiat was an American artist who is famous for his graffiti and painting works. His style can be classified as neo-expressionism, and it covered topics like race, poverty, inequality, and history. Basquiat was born on December 22, 1960. His family lived in New York City, primarily in Brooklyn. Basquiat's father was from Haiti, and his mother was of Puerto Rican descent. So, he was able to both read and speak in French, Spanish, and English from a young age. According to his teachers, Basquiat was extremely intelligent. They encouraged him to develop an interest, of which the main one was art. However, his home life was quite unstable, and he ran away from home at the age of 15. Despite this, Basquiat focused on his artistic pursuits. In the late 1970s, he and a group of friends began spray-painting graffiti under the tag SAMO. 
Their work caught the eye of a clothing warehouse owner who offered Basquiat a day job. This was a major turning point in his career. By the early 1980s, Basquiat could sell a single painting for over $20,000. He achieved worldwide fame after a solo show in Italy. Basquiat propelled that into a rap career and continued to paint. Sadly, Jean-Michel Basquiat died of a heroin overdose in 1988 when he was only 27 years old. Bird on Money, painted in 1981, is one of Basquiat's most famous works. It is made of acrylic paint and crayon on canvas. The subject is a tribute to Charles Parker. He was a jazz musician and one of Basquiat's idols. He is represented by the bird because Yardbird was Parker's nickname. The abstract shapes represent the jazz notes of Parker's often improvised songs. The work takes a darker tone when the viewer reads the words Paramore, to die, and Greenwood. This is a cemetery near where he was born and where he would be laid to rest seven years after he painted this work. These are only three of the thousands of black artists that have shaped art history. Jacob Lawrence, Faith Ringgold, and Jean-Michel Basquiat used their talents to give a voice to their community. Thank you for helping us honor them in this video.